our uh, VIP flight, Peter Pan. These are just, if you look at the line, these are just all my dad's random friends and none of us. Piling up. Good game, guys. Check in. Get to Go. Hey guys, um, so we just got into um, our VIP seats. VIP. It's the best. Yeah. Turn your flash off. Well, good evening, everyone. Oh, yeah. It's a good day to be here. I'm going to stand over here because the lights are blinding me. So. Um, I want to just uh, introduce you uh, to a little bit about the program, and um, so as you know, uh, as principal of the school, I'm very happy to welcome you here to Riverside and to our fourth and fifth grade musical, Peter Pan, and our students are so excited to perform for you this evening. Uh, they have worked so hard in the past two weeks and have powered through long days and are ready to perform a great show, which we know you will enjoy. We got to see it today in the afternoon, so I know it's a real treat. We're so thankful for three incredible professionals that are leading and working with our students here in the PTA Play Committee this year to create a wonderful musical and a learning experience for our children. Our lead director, Joe Jasmine, is in a rock alternative uh, singer-songwriter and guitarist. He's been writing and recording original songs since age 12. And Mike is accompanied by Riverside School graduate and current EMS 8th grader, Carter Paulson. Thank you, Carter. Carter. We're also excited to share with you uh, that Joe, Anja, and Mike are collaborating together for an off-Broadway show called Only Human, opening this spring, so it sounds great. And additionally, we'd like to say a special thank you uh, to our three parent co-chairs, uh, Sarah Traeger, Lois Kelly, and Stephanie Earhart. Let's give them a hand. For all their hard work and their amazing committee. Let's give the committee a hand for the great job of And they work for countless hours for the kids and with Joe and the team to make this a success. A few final logistics uh, to ensure a smooth performance. Please uh, silence your cell phones at this time. And we ask that there be no flash photography because it will likely distract the students as they're up on stage. Also, there's a lot of action that happens in the aisles during the show, so please stay seated and do not block the aisles on any of the sides, so both sides as well as the middle. Uh, so please stay uh, clear of that area because the students are frequently using them. Uh, I just want to mention there are five fire exits in the building in the unlikely event that we would need to leave the building. Um, right behind you there are four, so starting on the left, there's one by the basketball hoop, there's two in the very back, there's one on the side, and there's also one over here. So those are where our fire exits are. And also anyone who bought the uh, candy grams, uh, I've been told they make a lot of crinkling sounds, so if you could please leave them on the ground or leave them separately so they're not, you're not playing with them as not to get picked up by the mic uh, during the performance and keep nice and quiet there. And at this time, we are thrilled to hand it over to our fourth and fifth graders for Peter Pan. Didn't think that one through. Never mind. Lots of 
Maggie is dusting and preparing the children for bed. Wendy and John are playing, and Nana, the children's nanny, chases young Michelle into the nursery. Pay attention, the story is about to unfold. I won't go to bed, Nana. I won't! Liza, it isn't six o'clock yet, is it? Yes, Michelle, it is. I won't watch up. I won't, I won't, I won't! Liza, we're protecting our mother and father, and we're going to the ball. Come and play. Madam, what lovely flowers may I have this dance? I don't know how to dance. Besides, I have more important things to the play at this make-believe. Oh, please, Liza. No, I'm much too busy. But Liza... Bravo! Oh, Mother, you look lovely. Why, thank you. Mother, we're attempting to you and Father. I'm Father. A little less noise there, a little less noise. Mother, they never let me play Father. They never let me dance. Well, we shall soon fix that. There now, may I be honored this dance, Mr. Darling? You dance beautifully, Mr. Darling. Mother! Mother! Oh, here you are, Mother. Why, what's the matter, Father, dear? The matter. This tie, it will not tie. Not round my neck, round this bedpost. Oh, yes, but round my neck. Oh, dear. Best. I'll help you, sir. Say it again, Father. Say it again. A little less noise there. A little less noise. <laughs> <laughs> Goes around my neck. We don't go out to dinner tonight. And if I don't go out to dinner tonight, then I never go to the office. Again. And if I never go to the office, again, then you and I starve, and our children would be flooded to the street. Prepare the children for bed, Eliza. Oh, mother, look here. Here are my children. Clumsy, clumsy. I won't take a bath, Eliza. I won't. Come, my dear. I'll brush you off. Thank you. You know, Mother, sometimes I think it's a mistake to have a dog for a nurse. Why, George, Nana is a treasure. Yes, no doubt. But at times I have an uneasy feeling that she looks upon the children as her puppies. George, we must keep Nana. I'll tell you why. Tonight I saw a face at the window. Face at the window. Two floors up? It was the face of a little boy. He was trying to get in. Impossible. This is not the first time I've seen that boy. Uh-huh. The first time was a week ago. I remember first Nana's made out. I had been sitting here when suddenly I felt a draft as the window open. I looked and saw that boy in the room. I screamed. Just then, Nana came back and sprang at once. The boy leapt out of the window. Nana closed it quickly as it was too late to catch him. I thought so. He escaped, but his shadow had time to get out. I hid it, I rolled it up, and here it is. Well, it doesn't look like anyone would. Though he does look like a scoundrel. You know, George, I think he comes back trying to get his shadow. This is most unusual. Oh, clumsy, clumsy, just look at my trousers. Come over there again. Your place is a yard, and not the nursery. Oh, Father, please, Father. Father, she's crying. In vain, in vain. George, George, remember what I told you. It's a boy. Oh, Father, please don't. You should be a good dog. They mind the master of this house for a sheep. Now, Nana, now. Oh, no, he's chaining Nana up. She's awfully unhappy. That's not Nana's unhappy bark. That's her bark when she smells danger. Danger? Are you sure, Wendy? Oh, yes. Is there anything there? Nothing. All quiet and still. Can anything harm us, Mummy, after the nightlight's over? Nothing precious. There are the eyes of my little leave behind. Guard your children. Now sing your goodnight song and into your beds. Thank you.
blades that protect my sleeping children. Burn clear and steadfast tonight. Metal to be 
here. How old are you? Well, I don't exactly know. I ran away from home the day I was born. But why? Well, I heard mother and father discussing what I was to be when I become a grown-up. And I want always to be a little boy, so I ran away to live among the fairies. You really know fairies? Yeah, but they're nearly all dead now. But why? Well, children, I know such a lot. And every time a child says, I don't believe in fairies, well, a fairy someplace drops down dead.
watch the pirates. <laughs> Come on. 
of a plan In which perhaps I may redeem the honour as a man You've kidnapped when you seize the boys who have come to play For when the time is right you see the children drop the flag Let's go! 
of us. You'll adopt them, won't you, Father? What, all of them? Please, Father. George, don't you think we can manage? I'm here to help. Well, watch a few more. Yes. Many, many years. The children have long since grown. Wendy is a mother herself now. We are back in the darling nursery. Except this time we see Wendy and her daughter, Jane. Wendy is getting Jane ready for bed. I wonder if I ever really did fly. Why can't you fly now, Mother? Because I'm all grown up. When you grow up, you forget how. Mother, tell me the story about how the cloud went over the Capricorn's hand. That's a story for another night, dear. It's late. <laughs>
Just hug it again, that's it. incredible professionals who work with us and are just masterful in what you put together. So I just wanted to again acknowledge our director and choreographer, Josue Jasmine. <laughs> our musical director, Audria Barbosa. I also just need to give an enormous shout out to our three play committee co-chairs, um, Sarah Traeger, Lois Kelly, and Stephanie Erhard. and your hard work. It's been an intense couple weeks and they, there was also tons of planning before that. I'd also like to acknowledge Carter Carlson, our uh, eighth grader from EMS, who's on for percussion. Wow. And I would like to also read out the names and acknowledge our full committee. They are the ones who've been running around backstage, switching the sets, creating these amazing costumes, Keeping track of the kids during rehearsals. Molly Campanelle, Jennifer Conti, Sarah Fuglesang, Angela Cocullen, Sarah O'Connor, and Amy Phillips. Absolutely incredible. And many of our committee chairs and committee members have actually been running back and forth between Eastern and Riverside because they're both they're working on both the musicals a few of them so incredible so with that I will say one last huge applause to our fourth and fifth grade performers and tonight. Thank you. And I just want to say one note um, before you collect your kids today we have to change out of all the your kids. Thank you. 